for our second binomial probability distribution problem, say that fast, 10 times, we're going to use a study by the Illinois Department of Transportation which concluded that 776.2 percent of front occupants use seat belts. A sample of 12 vehicles is selected. So let's fill out what we know. We know that we have 12 trials, so our n, which is n is the number of trials, is 12, and our pi is the probability of success on each trial, and that's 76.2 percent, so that's 0.762. Now with those two items, we have enough information to start filling out our binomial distribution formula. So we want to find out in the first part of the question, what is the probability the front seat occupants in exactly seven of the 12 vehicles are wearing seat belts? So we can start the formula. And for clarity's sake, I'll actually hit the function key and show up the function arguments so that we have a clearer picture. And we're looking for the number underscore s. Well, if you've forgotten what that is, we put the little translation table over here. The number underscore s is equal to our x and our and x is the number of seatbelt wearers. In this case, it's uh, 12, um, excuse me, I'm sorry, 7. But we'll go ahead and click the formula icon because we're going to copy this formula. And then the number of trials equates to n, which is 12. And don't hit OK before you're done, or enter for that matter. Probability underscore s is our probability, which is pi, and that's 0.762. And we've talked about cumulative before. We do not want to accumulate it here. So we'll put 0, hit OK. And so the answer to the first part of the question, what is the probability the front seat occupants in exactly seven of the 12 vehicles are wearing seat belts, is 0 0.09022. Well, let's finish filling out the formula, or the table. So now we have the whole table. We can go ahead and fill out our cumulative distribution as well, our cumulative probability distribution with the same formula and the same values. This time we want to use cumulative, so we put a 1 in there and we can copy that all the way down. So we have our probability distribution laid out. So in order to calculate part two, what is the probability the front seat occupants in at least seven of the 12 vehicles are wearing seat belts, where x, which is the random variable defined as the number of successes or the number, in this specific case, the number of front seat belt wearers. And what we need to do here is we need to calculate those for seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Well, all we have to do, since it's at least 7, or x is equal to or greater than 7, we can just sum 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, the probabilities from each of those success categories or values. and we get 0.95634. Now a different approach you can take is just to essentially do the opposite. Start at the top. So we have, we know that all of them probabilities added together equals one, but if we subtract out one through six, we can get the same solution. But because we're in the cumulative column, we only need to take the six, not all of the separate ones here. And we get the same answer, 0 0.95634.